details and things that people really like comes in the Q and A session. So if there's something that comes up, like Professor Allen says, write them down on a note card, but we'll definitely have time um, at the end to get to them. And I told him this is not necessarily for like juniors and seniors. I think it's important to think about business school now while you're still in school versus two to three years, and then you're trying to get into school and you realize that you haven't done some things that you probably should have done. So hopefully you get a lot of information during this particular presentation. So. Just a little bit of background on me. Uh, like I said, I was born in Los Angeles. I actually was raised primarily in Dallas, Texas. Went here, graduated in 2008, did the um, business administration. I actually transferred into SMG. I was in CAS as a comp side major initially. Um, did both MIS and operations here. The reason why I even went into consulting is because I was sitting in Professor Allen's um, office and I was like, oh, I don't really know what I want to do this summer. What should I do? And he's like, have you ever considered consulting? I know that you have this interest in technology. You're pretty good at this business thing. You should look at consulting. So I actually interned at CSC in um, Waltham over the summer. Really liked it. Like you said, moved to Atlanta and worked with Cap Gemini. Worked there a few years, did business intelligence primarily, but really wanted to move out of Atlanta and see something different and work in both the private and the public sector. So I then got a position at Deloitte. So I moved to DC, um, worked at Deloitte in both the private and public sector, it was really great. Um, but I always had this passion for education. So I was trying to figure out how can I bridge my background in consulting with my passion for education. So I started looking at MBA programs, master higher education programs. Michigan actually has an established dual degree program. And I'll talk a little bit more about dual degrees programs a little bit later on in the presentation. So decided to go to Michigan. Uh, Michigan has a football team, which I was like, <laughs> coming from Dallas, I was like, I don't know how you have a school without a football team. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was news to me when I got here. I was like, I don't even know how this works. But we play soccer there. I'm a football team. So, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so it was another thing that I considered when I was looking at graduate schools as well. It's like, where can I get a lot of pride? And Michigan pride is very, very strong. Any of you from Michigan? Uh, but Michigan Prime is really strong, um, so I really love my experience. Now I actually work for a company called Huron Consulting Group, um, in, based out of Chicago, but like I said before, I was in LA. Uh, I entered at Google, really loved my experience there, but again, the reason why I went to graduate school is because I had this passion for education, and I was like, well, I can't sell out right after graduate school, uh -huh. probably give a couple of years. Um, so I decided to go into education now, but still got my foot in at Google, and if I want to go back to it, I'll make some things. That's a little bit about my background. So I recently launched a company called Kamita, which is actually named after my grandmother. Um, she was actually born in Cuba, um, but raised primarily in Haiti. Um, and her whole thing was really big on education. Um, she moved to the States, actually moved to Brooklyn with her family, um, and she really emphasized education. It was something that was really passionate for me. Not only was she my grandmother, but she is also my godmother. Um, so she played a really critical role in my life. So named this in her honor. Um, one of the things I do is these speaking engagements on starting an MBA process. I do another one for high school students about how to get into undergrad. And I do workshops, so a consulting workshop, which I was talking to Professor Allen about. Just telling a little bit more about the process, how you do mock cases, etc. Um, and lastly, I do documentaries. So this is a clip, actually, from one of the documentaries that um, is going to come out pretty soon here. Um, it's called Profile. <laughs> How's it going? My name is Kareem Edwards, born and raised in Farrakhan, Queens, New York. I'm currently an assistant brand manager at Kraft Heinz Company. I grew up in Queens, New York, Farrakhan to be exact. Um, grew up in a single parent household. In the beginning, my mom kind of still, my brother and I, just hard work. So from an early age, it's always about what have you done today? What kind of value have you added to the community, to the family, and so on? And are you being thankful for the opportunities you do have? So growing up, I think I started my first job at the age of 14, uh, working at a nursing home, playing games with the patients and so on. And then within a year, I got another job as a, uh, a bus boy where at a kosher deli. And kind of going with that whole notion of working hard, working two jobs, going to high school was a lot, but it helped me to kind of provide a bit of life for my family, help my mom out with paying rent, paying a mortgage. Um, to kind of take care of myself. So I think in many ways, my mom, I want to say, the Farquaad community kind of helped raise me into a man. My mom with that hard but yet soft touch of a mother, but Farquaad with the hard, just notion of you can't afford to mess up or you can end up in prison, you can end up in six feet under, so many negative things that could happen if you, not, if you do not pay attention and work hard. How I came out going to DePaul University in Greencastle, Indiana, 
it was through the Posse Foundation. And the Posse Foundation started in 1989 by the founder, Debbie Bill, who had a group of teenagers, and she had them in a circle kind of just talking about why didn't you go to college, or if you did go to college, why did you drop out? And this one brave kid stood up and like, well, if I had my Posse with me, I would have stayed. So keep in mind, it's 89, so Posse is like a hip word, kind of mean like you had this cohort of people that can help you to stay in college. So she came with this idea like, all right, well, I'm going to send this cohort of young people from the inner city of New York as a posse to these top colleges across the world. So the Vanderbilt, the Paul, the Middlebury, and so on and so on. So that was the premise of posse. So I heard about posse when I was actually in Germany my sophomore year of high school. Um, I was part of this program called Bridge the, Bridge the Gap, which was right after 9-11, and Germany and the U.S. kind of bridged this gap between countries by paying off students, leaders in, in public school in New York City to students in Germany. And this young girl from Brooklyn was like, well, you should apply to Posse. I'm like, what's Posse? Went back to my school, told my guidance counselor, and 